Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Chun Pu Chu. I'm the chiropractor of New York Medical Group. Today, I'm going to share with you a case on post polio syndrome. Most developed countries eliminated paralytic poliomyelitis, polio, in the 1970s to 1980s. It was believed that after recovery from acute paralytic poliomyelitis, the physical condition of survivors would remain stable for the rest of their lives. In the late 1970s, however, many polio survivors had contracted polio in the 1940s and the 1950s, noticed clinical deterioration such as pain, muscle weakness, and muscle fatigue. The term post-polio syndrome was coined in the 1980s, describing this new late manifestation of polio several decades following the initial recovery. The pathophysiology behind post-polio syndromes remain unclear, but is likely multifactorial. The most plausible pathophysiology of new witness is related to exhaustion of motor units, re mechanism that formed after the attack. Drawing the healthy spinal cord section with nerve cells, motor nerve cells branching to the muscles. During the acute poliomyelitis infection, the nerve cell is invaded by polio virus. Destruction of infected nerve cells resulted in attack nerve supply to the muscles, and it may result in loss of muscular function and cause weakness or paralysis. The new brows are now capable of provoking contraction. Muscle function can be partially or fully regained. Many modern nerves end up supplying more muscle fibers than they would normally supply. After decades, an overexertion phenomenon results once again in the muscle fibers that no longer contract. A survivor recognizes the new weakness and the loss of function. An interdisciplinary care is the best strategy for patients with post-polio syndrome tailor-made rehabilitation including muscular strengthening, chiropractic therapy, and endurance training have shown to have significant benefit on muscular exertion, endurance, and pain relief. Thank you.